Hello guys, welcome back to another episode here on the survival single player. Uh, the Kingdom of Dash is what I've been calling it. Uh, that's like the name of this world. Uh, so I might retitle the series to the Kingdom of Dash uh, here eventually, but for now it's just going to stay survival single player. Um, this is episode four, and I thought I'd bring you guys out here to a future build project. This insane mountain range is going to be uh, our next project that we start working on here in the next few episodes. Uh, we'll probably head out here uh, in a couple episodes and start working out here. Uh, we're still over at the fishing village for now. Uh, but eventually, we are definitely going to be coming over here. So, I thought I would show you guys this awesome range. Uh, we're definitely going to be doing a castle here, more than likely. Probably uh, a castle that is still operating. like Not like a ruined castle or anything. Uh, build it, the walls into the cliff faces. Uh, support, stuff like this. Probably take that out. Um, we could have a gate, big gateway here, or if we come this way, we could have another big gateway right over here. There's two uh, places for gateways. That could probably be the main entrance, and this could probably be like a, a back entrance because it's a bit smaller right through here. Uh, but yeah, uh, got some terraforming to do uh, whenever we do eventually come over here. But I thought I would just show you guys this to open the episode up. Uh, to say that this is what we're probably going to be working on next uh, after we've got to a spot that we're happy with over at the fishing village. Um, not done, but you know, something we're happy with and then able to move on. Probably after we fight the ender dragon, we'll come out here. Uh, the ender dragon will kind of serve as a midpoint between the two projects. So yeah, uh, I just thought I would start by showing you this. And uh, now I'm going to head back on over to our... Uh, fishing village and we will really start working on what we're going to be doing in this Hope you guys enjoyed that little time lapse there. Uh, I thought it should be noteworthy. Uh, I forgot to include this earlier, but I'm using the BSL shaders now. Uh, before, I think I was using Eddie's shaders or Silders. I like to flip around. Right now, I'm, just, I'm really feeling uh, BSL. I like the light shafts and um, like the brightness and saturation that it gives everything. It's not too much. And then at nighttime, it really dulls everything. It, it messes with colors in a way that the other shaders that I normally use don't. So I'm going to run these for a bit. Um, but we're still going to be working on this. Uh, we're not done. I want to have a, uh, a little nethery part uh, behind the portal as if it's like you're passing into the nether. I'll have a thing of glass right on that block. And then uh, like a nether rack and lava and glowstone and stuff back behind there. So I actually have to go in the nether and gather up some stuff. And then we will do that.
finished uh, our little nether portal area. I think it looks really awesome. And I have uh, went ahead and I'm adding a couple uh, other builds uh, over here next to it to kind of round it all out. So let's go over here and get a little bit of a closer look on it. Got this glare uh, in our eyes from these shaders. They're really pretty, but this, the glare is kind of annoying from time to time. Uh, but yeah, here we go. This is how it's looking. Uh, I was starting on these two and I will finish them, uh, but I've actually elected to turn my attention elsewhere for the rest of the episode. I think we're going to work on a sheep farm area. Just the automatic uh, sheer sheep farm. I'm just going to have one sheep of each wool uh, in each. I'm going to make a lot of little of these. I'm going to have like a whole complex. Probably this whole area right here is going to be our sheep farm. Uh, so that will be a really big export for this kingdom. Sheep and, or, or wool, I guess, like colored wool and fish. Uh, I know the wool doesn't make that much sense because it's not like a farm or anything, uh, but we kind of need it too. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to build this up and, uh, I'm going to have a lot of farms and I'll probably do progress updates with you guys for this because it's going to be really choppy on how I build this because I'm going to do a little bit of redstone and then plant out a little more of them and a little bit of redstone and plant out a little more of them and then I got to get all the sheep in. Uh, so I'll just try to do progress updates periodically. So I'm going to get back to work uh, and probably put a few more of these and then there's some bigger ones. Like I'm planning each one I need a three by three. So I might have like a thing and then have the middle uh, of it be one. So like it would come up here. Uh, and then I might also do like a few like this, uh, and I'll have staircases going up and stuff to some on some higher levels and stuff. But that's going to be uh, quite a bit to plan out. So I'm going to work on uh, doing that right now, and then I will be back. Bit of a progress update. I've built most of this. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And there are our 16 dyes, I believe, 16 types of wool. So we have to fit three more in somehow. Uh, this one, the chest to access, is, I'm just going to have a longer hopper line. It's going to be right down here. Um, hopefully, if I can make it reach there, uh, I think I can. Uh, but yeah, uh, this where this cobblestone is, is where uh, I'm going to put the wool there uh, for each one. So it's easy to find. And I think that'll be cool. Um... But yeah, I'm going to have to build three more. So maybe one here and wrap it around uh, or something. I don't know. I'll, or maybe I'll, you know, rip this cliff out and do one against the wall here. Um, but yeah. yeah, so I got a little bit more to do, but I thought I would go ahead and show you guys this right here. So uh, I'm going to get back to work and hopefully uh, next time I come back, I'll have uh, all the dice collected and uh, have... A place for each die uh, dyed sheep well it seems for one I've misplaced my bed but it's okay because I need just a little bit more string for our last dispenser there we go I got it let's do this all right throw this away and just need one more bow I think because we need 16 dispensers so let's craft this up just like so and there we go so now I think we have everything we need. Uh, I might be a little bit short on hoppers, uh, but I think we have everything we need. So I'm going to build it all up and uh, then I'm going to try and get a couple sheep and I'll put them over there and I'll breed, I'll breed, you know, the two and then I'll put it in and I'll breed the two and I'll put it in, I'll breed the two and I'll put it in. And when I'm all done with that, uh, I will come back and show you guys uh, our final product, but Real quick, let me show you uh, what we did here. Uh, I pretty much to get the the last three, I add this bit one there, and then two in this bigger one. Um, but yeah, it's quite the little complex area. Uh, I really like how this area looks. Uh, eventually, I would like to forge like a pathway through the mountain and have some like a like a, a tower up here, like a wizard's tower or something, but like an actual steampunk tower with this style roof up here but with other smaller ones sticking out of the cliff face. Um, but that's going to be a project for a future episode. Uh, so, yeah, probably uh, after we come back to work here, after we work on uh, the castle. So, and uh, I also went through and I got uh, all the dyes. I put one of each in here. So we're going to use these to dye our sheep and to keep track of all of them. Uh, we probably won't use the white dye because they'll, they'll probably be white sheep, but, you know. Uh, 
So I'm gonna get working on this and then uh, I'll be back to show you guys what we've got. All right, the sheep farms should be completely finished now. You can see them uh, as I'm coming over here. Uh, it took quite a few hours, probably three or four hours to completely like do all the redstone. Actually, probably two or three hours to put all the redstone in. It was very tedious and uh, going back and forth a lot. Uh, so it was really hard. I took the last two sheep that I had right here, uh, and I, I used those two to put them in. But yeah, for the last two, so I wouldn't have any leftovers. But yeah, I'm pretty sure every single one of these is operational if we go around and check. There are some weird spots like this uh, where I couldn't, uh, you know, I mean, they're still sectioned off in their own thing. But I couldn't, you know, block it there. Otherwise, there'd be, you know, uh, like on this side, there would be in the corner right there. Uh, dark oak so I couldn't really do that uh, but it's okay uh, as long as they're all operational oh, I left a torch in there I ran out of torches got to make more um, but yeah this is looking good so and I tried you know my best so right now I hear like muted colors uh, white light gray black uh, dark gray light gray gray black brown green orange ketchup and mustard and then up here, let's see what we've got. We've got the purples in this section, like pink, purple, magenta, uh, blue, light blue, cyan, and lime. So yeah, that's what we've got. Uh, I'm really uh, liking the design uh, of uh, how I decided to do this and just having, instead of just having like a bunch of the same thing, like modular next to each other, I actually kind of fit it into our style here and made it all messy and stuff. I'll probably add some like leaves flowing down uh, here eventually, uh, but that's all I've got time for for today. I've got uh, a bunch of shears in there and I've got access tunnels. I'll show you these real quick so I can get into the back of all the dispensers. Here's these two that are kind of weird like that. And uh, here's this. Sorry if you can hear my dog messing with the wires down below. He's just walking, uh, but he's low to the ground, so. He can't get to them. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed building this. Uh, and I definitely suggest you make something like this in your world. If you need to do, you know, modular design, you should do that. Uh, the design actually for the redstone came from Mythical Sausage. Uh, so check out his video on it. But yeah, really liking this. Let's take a screenshot. This is good. It shows some of the wool and all the sheep. So yeah, there we go. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you really enjoyed it, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe. I'm uploading uh, existence episodes and uh, survival single player episodes. Uh, at least one video a week, probably around Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to try and shoot for. I've never really had a schedule before. But as of now, I would like to try and get a video out every single Wednesday. Uh, so hopefully there will be a video next Wednesday. Um, and if I have anything extra, then it'll just be on any other random day of the week. But I will try to have a video out every single Wednesday. Um, but yeah. Uh, my name is Dash, and as always, thanks for watching.